morning guys. I am so excited for today. First of all, there was a storm last night, so I'm hoping that that means the playroom is going to be super busy. And for any of you who have been following me over on TikTok, I am having Finley come today. If you haven't seen any of those videos, let me play Finley's mom's video and my response for that so you guys can kind of catch up on what's going on. This message is for the owner of Grandma's Playroom, and if you're not her, tag her below and keep scrolling. Okay, now that it's just you and me, hi Sierra, my name's Tanner, and I am a mom to two beautiful little girls, and we are recently staying in St. Louis, Missouri. My daughter Clementine, who is one year old, who just received a bone marrow transplant and went through chemo and radiation, she is the first female in history to have a gene mutation that she has, and we're really hopeful that this transplant will work and keep her living with us, because we'd love to spend as much time with her as we possibly can. With that being said, we've spent a lot of time in the hospital which has taken me away from my three-year-old. And as you know, three-year-olds have big emotions and a lot of needs, and if mom's not home, they're hard to meet those. So being in St. Louis, we have been here since the beginning of July. We're staying at the Ronald McDonald Apartments, and you know, we only came with so many toys, and we're not allowed to go places because we're in complete isolation. She was scrolling on my TikTok, and she came across yours. That's where we've run into a problem she wants to come play with you so bad she wants to play she misses her friends she misses her toys she misses church where she goes to school she misses dance class she wants that social interaction we're not allowed to have it because we're in isolation so here's where you come in how much can i pay you to allow me to come play in your playroom i'll clean up i'll sanitize we wear masks we're not allowed to be around other people I'll, I'll literally scrub the floor with a toothbrush at this point to have you allow my child to come play when there's no other kids playing. Heck, I will rent out a spot for your birthday party and I'll pay that price just so my kid can come play. She needs something other than, you know, sitting in the apartment and I don't have anything else to offer her because we're in isolation. But here is my other kiddo. She's currently watching Toy Story while she gets a plate by transfusion. And my other kiddo is at home, well, home, being the Ronald McDonald apartment. So message me, I have Facebook, Instagram, you can message me here on TikTok. Whatever needs done, let's figure something out. I would so appreciate it, and if not, it's totally okay too, but hopefully one day we get to come play. Can I pay you to allow me? This video is for Finley. If you're not Finley, then hand the phone to your daughter so she can see this video. Hi, Finley. I'm so excited that your mom posted this video so you could come to grandma's playroom. I am very, very happy to host you and let your mommy know that it's going to cost you guys zero dollars. I am going to make sure that we can get you guys here and play safely while we are close to the public. And I'm going to be sending you and your sister home with a bunch of fun toys to play with. Now you are gonna have to share, but I made sure I tried to add to as, as many things as I could. Thank you everybody that tagged my name. This is the type of community that I always wanted to build and I'm so excited to have them come play here at Grandma's Playroom. So as you can see, they are super excited to come and play here and their private is tonight. I asked her mom if we could share any of it with you guys and she said absolutely because people have been asking me constantly about when it's going to be, if they're going to be able to see her play and the answer is it's today and yes you can. So first we need to have a full day of open play. I guess not really a full day, it's like a half day. We have like nine to one for open play. We already have nine reservations, which is what 50% of our capacity. So let's just quickly get this place opened up so we can start this day. We are now open for business. There's no cars here yet. I think our first reservation is like 9.30, but we have seven kids coming at 9.30. So I might have a few minutes to just take care of a few things like voicemail. Since we've been slow the past couple of days, let me actually pull up how many kids we've had. Yesterday, there was only 10 kids. Um, the day before that, we did have 23, which isn't so bad, but this weekend, we were super dead. Luckily, we had birthday parties, but when we did have open play on Sunday, we had one kid show up. So this Sunday, I am trying to do a story time with a craft to hopefully up the amount of children that will come into the playroom. For my story times, I never charge for them. I, you know, can reuse the book and the craft is usually something that's pretty simple. This time it is a fall theme because it'll be October 1st. So I need to promote this a little bit more because so far y'all, I've had nobody sign up. 
so that is um, a little worrisome. I will let you guys know if we have anybody sign up by the end of today. Good morning. Good morning. If you could sign in on the sure. waiver for me, please. And did you all call ahead or have a reservation? I did not. Okay, not a problem. We still have plenty of space right now. That sounds silly to say. You guys are the first ones. <laughs> including with the reservations. Yeah, we have quite a, a few. We've got plenty of space. Let's see, 27. And were you going to do cash or card? A uh, card, please. All right, wonderful. All right. Miles, can you hold this for me, buddy? Thank you. And Miles, have you turned two yet? Just turned two in July. Well, congratulations. Well, that means that you are graduated from the infant area. So oh, okay. the gated off area with the rainbow is just off limits. Okay. And then we ask that all food and drinks stay on the tile and all toys stay on the carpet. Perfect. All right, you are good to go in. Grandma's Playroom, how may I help you? We do, what time did you want to arrive and how many children is this for? Hi, how are you? Did y'all call ahead or have a reservation? No, okay, hold on one moment. Okay. Okay, we well have space if you want to sign it on the waiver for me, please. I apologize. We're like teeter tottering between about to be at capacity as soon as oh, a few no. so I timed it right. <laughs> yeah, as soon as a few reservations show. And we're going to do cash or card today. Hello. To have them out here. And then I sent you guys a um, Instagram message because I wanted to actually see if maybe every other month I could offer an open play to a different family that's staying at the Ronald McDonald house on me, like no charge. Um, yeah, so I don't know how that would work. I mean, I can wear a mask every single time. I'm sure you have children that don't have like immune issues as well. I feel like today has gotten away from me. It is already 11.29. We're up to 20 kids today, which is so good because yesterday we had 10 all day. So we're definitely doing better. It is starting to get a little bit sunny out there now. So I'm not sure how many more kids we're gonna have, especially since we close like in an hour and a half, but maybe we'll get a couple more. I'm like the worst vlogger ever. I totally lost track of time again. It is now 1.14. We are officially closed. The playroom is completely picked up, but I gotta run home because Finley's gonna be here in like 45 minutes and I didn't bring a mask. So I'm gonna run home real quick and I'll be right back. I am back. I have my mask. I tried to find like the cutest, happiest one I could find, but now let's quickly go get all of the toys that we're gifting to Clementine and her sister. Okay, full disclosure, I didn't actually go out and purchase any of these toys. I am so, so incredibly blessed to be able to do partnerships and sponsorships with some amazing toy companies. And they tend to send me like the entire collection for a video. And that's just too many toys for me, too many toys for my children. So I have an entire like stockpile of toys that I donate. I usually give them to um, like silent auctions and things like that. So I thought this would be the perfect time to whip out as many of them as I can to give to Finley and Clementine. And I think my sponsors would be super happy to know that all of these toys are going to a good cause. Now, they're not opened, they're not used. I do not give away used, <laughs> used toys. Everything still has the tags. Everything is still in perfect condition. So nobody's getting like the short end of the straw. I just want to make sure when she walks in, she's got some fun things to look at. Okay, let's go grab more. Some learning resources. Okay, so we've got the Snackles. I've got some little tykes. These weren't actually for a sponsorship. They just sent me a bunch of these toys. Some pirates, some pretendables from uh, Fat Brain, some Neatos, and some mini snackles. So they mentioned in their video that they just didn't have as many toys to play with because they are traveling. So hopefully this little collection, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> We'll give them more things to play with. And thank you to all my amazing sponsors and all the amazing companies that just send me toys. Like, this is what I do with those extra toys. Most of the playroom is already clean. And I've been like sanitizing, wiping, and like going crazy to make sure it was extra clean today. All of the children that come into grandma's playroom are important. Every child deserves a clean and sanitized playroom. I do that every single day. But I wanted to be extra, 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 extra clean today because Clementine is at risk. So I want to make sure that she feels safe and that her family feels safe um, being here. I think I showed the clip of me on the phone with the Ronald McDonald House. They called me today to thank me for having Clementine and her family come in, which honestly with an organization like the Ronald McDonald House, this is like the least I can do. So I told them that I want to start hosting more families here in the playroom 
and they were so receptive to that idea, so I'm so excited. We did end up having 20 kits today, so I'm pretty happy about that. When I saw that it rained on a day of open play and we were closing early, I was so nervous that the community was gonna be upset, but I posted we were closing early today because something fun was happening. And oh my gosh, did they show up in my Facebook comments. Just so excited that they're um, Clementine and Finley are coming. So I underestimated my community. They're amazing. I'm so happy that they were understanding. Somebody on TikTok suggested I open the windows while they are here for extra ventilation. So I'm gonna do that. There is a screen. I get that question every time you can't see it because it's a black screen, but there is one there. It looks really good in here. I'm gonna put on some princess music and I'm gonna try to film her reaction when she's walking in. Okay, they're here, mask on. I'm so excited! Okay. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh my goodness. Windows are open, fans are on. We are ready. Oh my God, she looks so cute. She looks so cute, she's already waiting. Finley and Clementine have left and that was so much fun. I'm so glad they got to come and play and I can't wait to keep working with the Ronald McDonald house to have more families come and play in my playroom. I'm like beyond excited that we got to make this happen. That's everything for today's video, guys. If you liked this video, I'd like it if you gave it a thumbs up and if you loved it, I would love it if you would subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye guys.